Hi, how's it going? Good. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's been fantastic. awesome. Thank you. Yeah. How about fun. you guys? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was so much fun. I feel like um, I always really was saying this earlier. I love, I really look forward to doing scenes with Melanie because it really pushes me as an actor because I get so nervous. <laughs> um, and uh, it was just really fun to do some comedy and play another side of Nicole. She was so good. Wasn't she like so um, good? It was, it was, it was so awesome. Nice. It was super fun. It was nice to just kind of, also because I think Nicole's in control so much, it was fun yeah. to see a side of her that was trying to be in control but just like didn't have the capacity to do it. So, that was great. Yeah. So you got put to the ring a little bit this season. Uh, you got your other outfit scene, you got the, the singing scene, and then you were a demon. Like you had a lot to kind of deal with. Was that difficult to sort of transition all these like kind of iconic characters? It was thrilling. It wasn't so much um, Yes, it was difficult. I suppose it was difficult, mainly because of the pressure that I put on myself. Not the actual doing of it, but the more of more of the thing. Like, can I actually, you know, nail all of this stuff? And is it going to look ridiculous? And I think with the singing and the dancing and stuff, because I was the only person doing it, um, you just feel a bit vulnerable because you know we're all actors and we all do that every day. But then suddenly it's like, oh, you're going to be stand on a stage in front of a bunch of extras and sing a song and and it's really nerve-wracking so um, I was very nervous to see how it was going to be received but I knew that Earthers are so um, supportive in everything we do and we really couldn't have a more positive and loving fan base so it was kind of the, the perfect platform to do it um, and I just thank Emily now every day because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to do it. I think and you're going to start getting push. calls for musicals. <laughs> you're going to start calling your agent and be like, we have this new musical adaptation of Aladdin. <laughs> like, it would be fun to do a um, live action. Oh, yeah. Do you know who I always thought I would be? Yes. Out of all the Disney films. Out of the Disney films? Like, you know, they do live action and stuff, and they're doing a... They did Beauty and the Beast, and they're doing a... They did Les Um, Can you give me a hint? A uh, classic? Can you continue to have a classic? Era? But it it's will, not a classic. In my lifetime, it, it will, will become, become a classic. A cl not a classic, but it will go on to screen. Uh, I'm so sorry to take up your like interview. Like Frozen? <laughs> Is there a Frozen? Yeah. Anna from Frozen? Yeah. You'd be great in that. <laughs> she falls yeah. over, she's quirky, she's like, hey, oh, <laughs> no? that, Yeah, you'd be awesome. I could, I could totally see that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just you totally rock it. <laughs> hey Disney, this is Dominique. Um, <laughs> she cast her. It's been really lovely to see her transform and like finding out more about her. How has it been for you? Like you weren't just like which is so nice because as an actor you do get worried about being pinned as the love interest and then being like I have nothing to do other than make out with you not that which she not loves amazing. guys <laughs> which I do love no I love we, we have Johnny we make and out I, like, a lot I really didn't realize how much we made out we're like, like we're kissing again, again. oh yeah <laughs> just becomes but, normality like classic everyday uh, thing hey good morning Oh my God. Um, but it is really nice as an actor, I have to say, I'm so grateful that they gave Nicole. Also just because I think you don't want her to just be there to be the love interest, you want to see the other side of her. And I think it's great because, um, you know, there's that beautiful scene with Nedley where he tells her she wants he wants to prime her to be sheriff. And I think it, Nicole's reminded that somebody needs to take care of the everyday citizens of Purgatory. And I think it's beautiful that we have that balance. Because it, it was a great reminder for, for her that that's how she got into being a cop as the first place. And I, I so love being able to bring another side of her to the table. Yeah. Yeah. that's always especially when you work in a field that's so similar like they're literally working in the same building just in different offices so I think it's 
I think it's wonderful tension, it's great storytelling, and it's it's an inevitable part of, I think it's something that that's going to be a thing for their relationship, is how do we balance this fact that we work in the same industry, and Nicole knows everything that is going on, and how does she kind of like push down her ego and her pride, and bring out the best side of herself, to know that, that they don't need her to do that, and that's okay. And that, that doesn't mean that she's not a great cop, it just means that that's not part of her job. Um, I think it's a it's brilliant intent, so I think it's better that Nicole and Waverly are not always working together. Because I think it would get boring. Yeah, it would be a little. It's too much. Thank you. I didn't see that detail. So what can you okay. tell us about the Twitter and the way it happened? What has that been like? Seeing everyone's reaction. Incredible. There's a... Uh, I, I don't want to sound like, I sound like a broken record no, every no, time. No, 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 it's good. No, it's but the yeah. Truth. It's Would the truth. Is it a lie? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to change my answer because it's interesting. No, it's, um, they really are the most incredible fans. And every time I speak to anyone in the LGBT community that thanks me, I thank them back because I feel like they've just been so open and welcoming and that has made this whole experience 10 times better and really to see the importance and, and for them to vocalize it to us. That, that's all part of the process of realizing how important it is because you have these individual stories that come to you and it's opened my eyes in a way that I, it was beyond my, you know, my yeah. wildest dreams. It's, it's, it's an incredible, incredible journey that we've gone on as people as well and I just am so grateful to them. And to be a, feel like you're being a part of something that you're you're giving back in a way because what I really struggle with sometimes as being an actor is the feeling that I'm like what am I adding to the world what what am I doing with what I've chosen to do with my life essentially as my career I want to put something good into the world and it's just I felt like being a part of the way hot um, kind of this whole explosion has been I feel very lucky because it's been very fulfilling to feel like there's been such a positive thing that's been put out. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, Waverly's, you know, big, big kind of secret reveal in the first season about maybe not being biological. Uh, Thank you for saying it like that, for praising it like that. That's really lovely. And, and I think that's important because yeah. I think it doesn't matter biologically, you know, you choose your own family. But you know, obviously it's still an, an issue for her, um, and we're finally getting to explore that a little bit more now in this next season. Were you excited about that? Does it make you a little bit nervous to finally find out those answers? Yeah, I think more than anything, um, I had the same feeling about time, this storyline. Time! I was just about to, One second, one second. Okay. 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 Um, I felt this. I felt the same... Uh, the same feeling about that storyline as I did with the Wayhot storyline um, about the importance of representing it and telling the story right because there are people out there that don't know their you know their history and that's a really it's a really sensitive subject to to broach and I really wanted to make sure that I told it in the right way. Um, it's heartbreaking but also really empowering for Waverly to find out what's going on and, and her background and I think that um, it's a very, very crucial um, journey that she goes on and I think it makes her grow up. Hello, sorry. Okay, no worries. Me again. Okay, 